Hello everyone, today we're going to be covering the new hero skin in Corona, a new concept that they wanted to add new type of cosmetic and it looks fucking amazing. We have new weapon skins as well, which everyone is always super excited about. So, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the hero skin, it is Lord Ramiel coming to For Honor. Let's see exactly what it is about. The first thing is that we won't be able to mix and match with other sets uh, and other weapons. Because yes, this uh, hero skin is coming... Okay, 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 so... Ooh, ooh, that's, that's a new HUD. That's, okay, that, that looks actually pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, but let's see, let's see, we have the outfits. Go to outfits, you go to hero skin customization. Oh! Lord Ramiel, Lord Ramiel. Oh wait, 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 wait. It was roll, roll, lo, it was lower to it. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Founder of the warden, servant of the people. Before the cataclysm, he drank the blood of a mighty creature and sacrificed the only man to achieve peace. But God damn, this guy is amazing. Okay, okay, okay. So. Apparently, I can play this guy. I cannot switch weapons. He looks really fucking cool. I mean, I, I really like see so much potential with this, like in terms of fashion. It, it does look nice, but it's also like. Okay, here are my thoughts on it. Yes, yes. Okay, so we can, you can change material too. Okay, okay. Let me first see it. Let's see, you change color, you change color. What happens? What happens? The good news is that we succeed to make it work with the alternative material and the color swatch. Which wow. Wow. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So what I was gonna say is like, because we all have like, we cannot change anything on the hero. Uh, like we cannot change weapons. Everyone will kind of look the same. But the fact that you can lose material, change material and color, it does give you some freedom to it. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's still pretty of a static fashion, but I do, do think this is really, really cool. Uh, what what I do worry about, and I I understand why this happens, but I do think that like one hero skin per season might be too low. I mean, maybe I'm asking for too much, but I do kind of want to see more hero skins. Anyway, is there is there anything left in hero skin? Let's see, let's see. He looks very nice. Oh no, it's just fitting. Let's cover the other topics. All right, it is time to get hyped for we are covering the new weapon skins my friend it is always very very exciting to see new skins in for honor i've been getting a lot of weapon skins we're getting rarely armor skins but yeah let's see what i have so we have okay so like first of all i see there's like a certain pattern per faction i hope um so i have blue yellow what what what, what is the style this is like cathedral style to it right i mean like especially with the blue, like it does give like a vibe of like the glasses in the cathedrals, like they're really decorated, the geometrical glasses. But yeah, this looks cool. This looks cool. Wow, the dragon looks so fucking sick on that. So like, if, if okay, Conquer is gonna become better very soon. Nemesis dragon, we're gonna fucking run Nemesis dragon on Conqueror Shield. Oh, okay, we have we have like Viking uh, weapon sets with the same cathedral style. Okay, cathedral. I'm I'm not even sure if it's cathedral. It's just geometrical class vibe to it i guess wow yo Wakanda. that actually looks so cool that that is actually really really cool a really nice shield we've we're seeing a lot of dragons is it is it because of nemesis is are are, are those shields made for nemesis question mark question mark it really mix okay of course not. let's just see we have a can say can say okay we have we have green cathedral guys green cathedral glass skins Okay, okay, this is, this is, uh, Aramusha Hitokiri. Wow, dude, the dragon, like, the dragons just look so nice, like, is it, I, I, let's see, let's see, dragon on the, oh, that is the dragon, that is a dragon spitting on the bushes, like, not, not the touchy or something, <laughs> okay, okay, uh, dragon, <laughs> they just, we played the games, put the dragon on the weapon, right? Oh, look, the dragon on the bottom, where is the dragon, where is the dragon, look for the dragon, no, no dragon on that weapon, what the fuck, where is the dragon, no dragon, no dragon again, what the, okay, so, Wooly don't have the, <gasps> wow, wow, this looks so nice, this looks so nice, I want to pause it and look at it, Wow, this okay. We have a here shot with everything. Oh, 
Wow. So we have all cathedral glasses. We have blue, orange, green, purple, blue, blue. Okay, actually, how, how big of a difference is the blue from here from the blue from here? Like this is supposed to be like outlander could do, but still pretty cool, still pretty cool. So that is it in terms of cosmetics and events. We still have reworks that are new. Shaolin and Conquer. I will not be talking about them tonight. I will be talking about them tomorrow. And I will also make a dedicated video for the Dominion changes. Because those two topics, I think they require a more detailed and well-planned plot process. Which I need to prepare for. So I don't, don't just want to uh, say Pog and like, wow, look, Shaolin changes and just give instant reaction. Uh, I kind of, I kind of just want to talk a little bit about it and say maybe like even pros and cons about what I think the rework is going to be like. Anyway, Dominion changes, they're really controversial in my opinion. I think there was a really a big discussion points and maybe I would even like get a guest to have like a really detailed conversation about it. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. I will see you next time and yeah. Bye, Pepe Ami.